All right, everyone, there's been a lot of buzz around the fact that the Sacramento Zoo would like to change locations. And here to tell us more, we have Sac Zoo CEO Jason Jacobs. This is big news. There's a lot it's of buzz socially. I know Francis Wing went out uh, and did a story on this last night. Uh, Sac B came out with an article. So, um, you know, fill us in because you and I have been chatting already that this has a lot of legs. This has actually been a conversation that's been around for some time. That's right. Uh, both the city and the Sacramento Zoo 10 years ago looked into this and have been looking at this for quite a long time. The zoo is limited in the scope of its mission in terms of taking care of animals in the land park location. It's only 14.7 acres. So we've had to make some really tough choices in the last decade. Mm -hmm. Are we going to have lions or tigers? We don't have the proper facilities for a hippo. So when the last hippo passed away after being here for 40 something years, that was it. Mm -hmm. All of our bears are gone. On the other side, we have people every day coming to the zoo saying, where's the hippo? Where's the bears? Where are the, the tigers? Mm -hmm. And you know who the majority of the people asking those questions are? Who? Little kids. Yeah. The children that come to the zoo. We host over half a million visitors a year. We are the most attended mm -hmm. year-round venue people in Sacramento. The zoo. People they love do. their zoo. Yeah. And, and you know, they love it. And we are an attraction, but I use that term loosely because we also have a mission of conservation and saving species. You're also an education facility, in Correct. my opinion, for everything that you're teaching to all the generations to come about respecting animals, the earth, the role that it plays in our lives as humans, uh, the importance of conservation. Um, I know that you work with other organizations as well in regards to the conservation. All around the world. Yeah, all around the world. So, I mean, this, this is a very important facility. Um, and you and I talked, we're like, the possibility for expansion in William Land Park, that's just off the table, right? Well, it's its not just expanding for the animals, but one of the number one negative attributes we have yeah. from when we survey visitors in the community is the parking. Yeah. There is no parking to be had in William Land Park for the zoo. And we can reach, if we can reach a million visitors a year, which we know we can do with the right site, imagine what those million visitors per year can have an impact mm -hmm. for helping to save species. Mm -hmm. Every time somebody comes to the zoo, Part of that admission fee goes to help save species in the wild. Well, you do it when you walk in. You get to Ex vote on which animal conservation exactly. you get to save. Yeah. We mm -hmm. have raised over a million dollars in the last decade in that method. And, and truly, the way to help people learn and save and understand is offer impactful moments in the zoo, mm -hmm. experiences. And I want to talk, though, too, about the importance of this movement because this is also about the animal's well-being. Correct. Um, tell us about what happened, because you are a part of a society, and you had an audit, and that audit suggested that this, this move needs to happen. Well, what we are accredited by the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. Yes. It is the most stringent set of standards for keeping zoo animals under human care. Mm -hmm. And they, look, they inspected us back in November. We had a hearing in March, and they looked at our facilities, and they have noted our facilities are outdated, and that we need to significantly upgrade these facilities if we are going to be able to obtain accreditation five years from now. Mm -hmm. And you might say, well, what does AZA accreditation mean? It's important. It's very important because it allows us to work with an international collaboration of zoos and aquariums to work with species like snow leopard, mm -hmm. red panda, and we're gonna be in the next few months receiving okapi. We're building an okapi exhibit, but we're building it in a way that we can relocate it to another site if possible. Oh, that's brilliant, okay. But these are all rare and endangered species. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, you know, we, we've had to make tough choices. We sent our last tiger to another zoo in, in February, and we want that tiger to have a better life. She wasn't really adjusting to life. Well, and th this comes down yeah. to the animals. Anyone that's an animal lover that has a heart that tugs at your heartstring, you understand the importance of making sure that the sustainability is there, that you're able to still be involved in the conservation game, and that's pretty much what this is, a large part of this is about. The, you know, the elephant in the room, pun intended, yeah. uh, is that funding. Funding is needed to make this move. This is a big move, right? So Correct. how can our viewers get involved? What can we do to help continue to support this? So I would tell your viewers and the entire community, let us know at the zoo if this is what you want. Email us through our website at sacszoo.org. Follow us on Facebook. The mayor has come out to publicly endorse this plan. He, this aligns with his great vision of making Sacramento a destination city. Let his office know that you support this plan. Mm -hmm. Let people know what you want your zoo to be. If things do not change, 10 years from now, the Sacramento Zoo will look significantly different. Mm -hmm. We won't have as many of the animals as we have now. We certainly won't have the iconic animals you expect to see at the zoo. Mm -hmm. And I don't think our, from the surveys we've done from our guests, that's not what they want. Mm -hmm. 
So please let us know what you want your zoo to be. It's up to the people of this community to determine what the fate of Sacramento Zoo is going to be. All right, so get involved. Thank you so much. Thank really you. Really appreciate you taking the time to come talk with us. Thank you so much. This interview involves commercial content. The products and services featured appear as paid advertising.